All right, now can you hear us? I don't know what happened. Better fish sticks. Hey, Tails, yeah. want to hear a song you know? I can't hear it, but. Yes, I know this song. Wait. No, I don't, though. This is the wrong song. There we go. Yeah, the hero is a bag of nonsense, but it's not necessarily good nonsense. So it's like... I'd is he luck-based? This song. You remember this, yeah? I knew the other one, too. Uh, yes, there's a lot of luck in it. Well, there, he has two luck-based attributes. First of all... He can get critical hits randomly when doing a smash attack, a 1 in 8 chance. That's fine! Oh yeah, these are the four Well, you do know what they say about random crits. They're, it's fair. Or it would be, except no one else can do it. Even the other characters who are from games that get crits. You have the hero from Eleven, who I don't know. He's known as the Luminary. You have Three's hero, Erdrick. Yeah, Erdrick. You have the Six's hero, Solo. And Eight's hero, Eight. Eight. <laughs> I prefer Erdrick, but they're all pretty good. He, er, the latter three characters did not have any voice acting in their games. Well, for the hero, but they apparently all got voice acting just for this. And uh, Erdrick is voiced by Nobuyuki Hiyama, who is the original voice of... Uh, in 64 Link. Does he go, yeah, ha, ha, ha I have not ya, heard of ha. Uh, who should he fight? Let's have him fight a jerk. You're gonna beat up a bad man? Yeah. Basically, he has, well, like, his attacks are kind of Linkish in that they're just swordy swords, and he has a Link like shield. But he has spells like Robin that he can charge. But look, above him, that's an MP gauge. He has MP. See, there's an MP and it's going back up. But this is what his down special does. Makes a whole whale happen? Looks like a spell menu. Oh, down there. Yeah, you, do you see the problem with that? Yeah, you can't read it very well while you're playing. The other problem is, the four spells you, have, you can choose from are random. You get, to choose, you get to choose between the four, but the four you are shown are random. So See, now you, it's different. So you have to go and switch the menus lots if you're looking for certain moves. Yes. And the thing is, uh, let's check out this... Uh, what, uh, look, Flame Slash. That's, it's fast, right, and strong. The thing is... The, the time it takes for me to... Open the menu, which is instant, then anal process what my four options are, then select the best one. By then, the situation has changed. If my opponent was in the range for a melee attack when I started, by the time I select it, they're either out of range or they're punching me in the face. There's also Metal Slash, which is garbage. Oh, wow, that's terrible range. If your opponent's metal, they die. That's the only thing it does. Yeah, well, if they're not metal, it does a little bit of damage. The thing is... Well, also, it has terrible range, and if they're... Th that's so situational. Uh, there's... Snoo... He has a, there are 18 spells, which is huge. Snooze will put the enemy to sleep, even if they're in midair. Magic Burst is basically mega magic. You use all of your magic and it hurts. Let's see how much damage it does at max MP. Oops. Timed out. There's Hocus Pocus, which does something random. So it's metronome. Yes. There- oh, he has 
Oh, bye. He has the renamed Beat and Defeat, which do the same thing they did in their origin game. Oh, they also asked who he's most often used in Smash, and though he left, it's still what uh, they asked. DDD! If you heard, it's DDD. DDD, DDD, DDD. Yeah, he has an insta kill move that can kill you no matter how healthy you are, though the higher, the less damage you have, the less likely it is to actually do anything. DDD, 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 DDD. Oh, he can cast Heal! How much does it affect you? I don't know. But I know if you, the more you, ca if you, it'll, if you keep casting, eventually it'll stop showing up until you've KO'd somebody. Uh, let's see, Thwack against 45. Oh, oh yeah, if, if okay, it does hurt them if it doesn't kill them, but not much. Where is, oh, Kaboom is probably the best spell, in my opinion, on this. That's the... You just do a little ball, and it just, it does a big explode. It's easy to hit with, and it has a range... Which means it's useful. To, it's likely to be useful. You can you have several buffs like a damage up, a speed up. Those are probably the best spells on this because you can use them and then just do whatever else. Yes, because the only time I can see that this spell is a viable spell to cast is if you have nothing more productive. To, if the enemy is not in range of anything else. If you're disengaged with the enemy, it is still beneficial to cast a buff. Let's see, just... Oh! This spell! It teleports you to the middle of the stage, no matter where you are. So it's a really huge save. It's, a, perf it's a perfect recovery move, except for the caveat that... Uh, you're not guaranteed to find it. You, you, and... you just have to hope it's there when you need it. How good is the hero's normal recovery, I wonder? It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Ah, here we go. Here's the spell. You just die automatically? Uh, Kamikaze. I suppose I should have tried hitting somebody with it. I'm guessing it's exceptionally powerful, but you don't want to use it on your last life. But if you do, you lose, of course. But... Oh, what else is I wanting to check? Okay, I I did get the insta kill against 83 damage lately. Just experience at least, because I some of these I'm not going to actually get any use of outside of training mode. He has a sort of weird PK fire. Oh, there's Kaklang, which is this. Just temporarily makes you fixed metal in place. Yes, you cannot move, but you are completely invulnerable to everything except Metal Slash, which will kill you. I wonder what the use of that was, but then I realized if you use that, you can no-sell a final smash, or if someone gets the Dragoon, you can just activate that and laugh at them. And hope that met you stay metal before they run out of time. Oh, does it use up mana slowly? Uh, no, it just has limited duration. Oh. There's Bounce, which basically gives you a Franklin badge, which is very nice. It's a reflector that is passive. Wanna, wanna hit, I wanna Kamikaze and see what it does. Hatchet Man, Hatchet Man. I'm guessing you're doing training mode. Alright, Hatchet Man will just kill you kill, but it's slow and short range. So it's like DDD's hammer yeah. thing. The, que the question is, is it any stronger than his charge smash? If so, Hatchet Man's a good spell to use against someone who's asleep or shield broken. If not, then it's a waste of time. Alright, Metal Slash, non-metal enemy, it has 1.2%. Whereas that does 20%, the elemental slashes. I want to blow up. It's the cheapest spell. It only costs one MP. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Okay, Hatchet Man can almost kill a heavyweight at twenty-one percent. So it has a really effective knockback. It's a, it's very strong. All right, Kamikaze. He's gonna die, but okay, that does about sixty percent damage to the enemy. <laughs> Alright, that's the hero. I 
the only way I really know to use his special spell list is either disengage and search for buffs, or just, if I'm in a pinch, just mash it and just hope I whatever I chose was useful. Yeah, I think that's probably how it's more, is just pick whatever the top option is and try and use it, and if it's like, good, use it, if not, see then I'll... Yeah, it was 42%! Good God! Kamikaze. Hatchet, man. Oh. Which... So in other words, it's making Kamikaze less and less useful sound. Well, Kamikaze also hits in an area around you, has a larger hit. It's probably harder to interrupt. Uh, I don't know how to exit training. Oh, quit training. Oh, say the exit training button. Hey, I'm poisonous. I don't know buttons. What's a button? But yeah, I like the hero's outfits. Quite a bit. I like the hero, except I don't... I wish the menu... Actually was... I, it just doesn't feel usable. And I've not seen anybody else complain about it. Which puzzles me. I mean, if it's just supposed to be a random desperation move, just make it a random move. Well, then you might accidentally pick Kamikaze, and that would be... No one wants that. Well, they could make it a random move and remove Kamikaze. That's true. Because I don't really see any circumstance where that seems good unless you're up by, like, five lives. Or if, again, if you have two lives... If you both have two lives, you are at 